So how do they truly feel about you right now? Let's start off with a tarot card. We have the Six of Cups and the Ace of Wands. Abandonment fears. The true feelings. We have the Two of Swords and the Queen of Swords. Let's look at the messages cards as well. I love you so freaking much. We're going to look at lots more of all of these cards as we go through this reading. Your person, they're feeling very overwhelmed right now. They're bubbling over with so much love, even to the point of feeling very emotional, maybe even fearing, feeling teary, teary-eyed, crying um, in a good way. It's like a lot of gratitude is what I'm feeling. We're starting off with the Six of Cups. This is the Soulmate Reunion card. This is about the purity of your love, the true unconditional love. This person, they are freed from their chains of fears. There is abandonment fears, fears of rejection coming up. It says fears of loss, fears of unrequited love, fears of being left, feeling unworthy, separation illusion, seeking reassurance holding on so this is what is um, holding them back somewhat we also have the two of swords that normally shows the person um, sitting there and they have the two swords crossed over their heart like protecting their heart they're wearing a blindfold so this is saying they're somewhat blinded by these um fears or illusions of being unworthy this is the false matrix conditioning that we all go through but there is some sort of clarity coming through here with the queen of swords um but they love you completely okay they feel a lot of passion a lot of desire this is you've really lit a fire within them look how she's sitting by this roaring fire um, this person is constantly thinking about you. To me, this Two of Swords is also them going inwards a lot and having like a no entry to the world around them. In truth, I feel as though this is how they've always felt, like where they've been wearing a false mask in life, even around those that are family or friends or partners. They've never felt fully safe enough to be totally their true self and you and your person you may be in a physical separation but they still feel as though they are much more in alignment with their true self and they align with your true self deep within themselves this is why they feel so much intimacy this is a very transcendental experience it really takes them to the true realms of the fifth dimension and beyond so your person they feel deeply connected with the soul family which you are all a part of you all work together as a unit and yeah I'm definitely seeing like tears, like there are moments where your person just feels overwhelmed with so much joy, so much relief to understand what life is about because they felt lost, confused, alienated. This is a deeply awakening experience. This card fell out and it's temperance. This is your hearts are one. The universe, the angels, your soul family brought you together. And this is so much intimacy. And this is overwhelming. They're overwhelmed with joy. I feel like they they are just so happy and excited right now. They could be having conversations with someone that they do trust. Someone who understands and isn't, you know, like saying what are you what the hell are you talking about i feel for some there there is someone that they can confide in about what's really happening here and they just feel they just feel so happy there's no amount of words i can say to express that they just feel so relieved to have these answers this truth coming in 
in a world where they felt blinded by fear. They felt a lot of self-esteem issues because this is how the false matrix is set up to make everyone feel unworthy and therefore keeping ourselves small and more easily controlled. Um, this is what your person and yourself is coming out of. Yeah, look, strength. You offer this person, you give this person so much strength. Many of you, you show this person how to create their own strength. This is the number eight, the infinity symbol, and it's also shown above her head here. Um, this is confidence, the, the self-esteem. At the bottom of the deck, I'm seeing the star. You are their dream come true. This is, again, your energies, your hearts merging you. You are one soul. This is so much manifesting as well, so much positivity. Since they've met you, everything has transformed. Everything has changed. I'm seeing the King of Swords as well to match this Queen of Swords here. To me, this is saying you have a very powerful telepathic bond energetic bond because you are one this oneness is what you you both feel this so powerfully it's what takes you out of this false matrix seeing beyond the veil they feel so protected they feel the strength of the soul family yeah intense emotions right now everything is on another level palpable like they're really feeling this in every aspect of their being this is why they're feeling overwhelmed with all of these emotions everything is amplified profound immense heightened deeper meaning everything holds a deeper meaning it's otherworldly so yeah i feel like someone caught them with tears in their eyes or um, they have tears in their eyes when they're expressing what's going on to someone or wherever they're going, whatever they're doing. Um, their eyes are watering with this, this feeling of absolute gratitude and feeling so mind blown. They're overwhelmed with this happiness, joy, euphoria, success. You know, this is that confidence. This is that healing, which is the star car again as well. High vibration, confidence, deep, deep soul level fulfillment. This is like the hugest sigh of relief, feeling completely 100% connected with source, God, the universe through this sacred union. And that is like a huge um, river washing them clean of any doubts and fears satisfaction that emanate in this joy optimism excitement for some of you this could i was just about to say for some of you this could be a really recent shift and we have profound shift coming out deep transformations integration of the soul truth this is the unlearning of the false matrix and uh, remembering the truth once all the junk of all the illusions that we're told are real fall away. This is the power of your love, okay? It washes you both clean of all of the illusions, primarily the illusion of separation. So immense awakening, healing, understanding, releasing density, raising vibration. How else do they truly feel about you right now? Four of Pentacles, this is that holding on energy that your person, they do have these abandonment fears with her sitting on this uh, gravestone. They have this fear of a loss or a death of your connection, they fear it ending. So this is where these fears are coming up. Uh, the Two of Swords as well. They are fearful subconsciously of you seeing very deeply into them and you rejecting them for their true self. But really, their true self is their soul. Really, they're, they're subconsciously holding on to a lot of negative self-image stuff. 
that again we all go through this in this false matrix this false matrix is designed to keep us disconnected from the infinite power of love i.e our true identity as the infinite souls by keeping us small keeping us holding a lot of self-blame guilt shame poor self-image so this stuff is triggering up somewhat within your connection they fear losing you seven of wands so this is what makes them feel a bit defensive at times um none of this is personal i feel like they've always felt this way in life like this this was them being a higher dimensional being being incarnated into such a harsh world a harsh false matrix squeezing the infinite into a teacup to be in this experience and all of the self-protection that we need until we awaken and realize that none of this is personal and who we truly are is the infinite soul the love which is by nature completely worthy it's not about worthiness we are worthy um this is twin flame energy here let's look at some more messages cards what does your person really need you to know right now about their true feelings we already have i love you so freaking much we have i think about you constantly and i'm planting the seeds in our union it just said 11 11 so you are constantly on this person's mind you're constantly in their heart there's a lot of telepathic communication. This person is putting their best foot forward. This is them investing very much in this connection and this journey that you are on together of awakening and ascending and reaching higher levels of union. Let's get one more of these cards. We have I'm in my man or woman cave. So yeah, this is someone that's very introverted, but this is a deeply um, inner transformation right now a personal experience their true self they've always subconsciously hidden themselves away they've always had thick walls but look how they're opening this doorway here this opening is their heart they allow you in you're in this internal world together that is the fifth dimension you are one um, so I'm going to continue this reading on in an extended reading. We're going to start off by looking at lots more messages, cards. What does your person really need you to know right now about their true feelings? We're also going to look at messages from spirit. What does your soul family need you to know right now about your connection? What is really going on in your connection? And also what is going to unfold next between you both? So the details for the extended reading are below this video in the description box and in the pinned comment. Comment. so i really hope to see you over there if this reading has resonated with you please let me know in the comments give it a thumbs up share it subscribe that all really helps me out with the algorithm thank you so much for joining me here and i hope to see you over on the extended